If you wanna get into cryptocurrency mining, then take a look at this, the Gold Shell ST box, under $700, delivered to your door. And I think I'm the first customer to get it. Hey everyone, I am Mr. Macek. If you are interested in making money, mining cryptocurrency, investing in real estate or stocks, please subscribe to this channel because that's what it's all about, is building your financial education. Now, I have been mining cryptocurrency for about half a year or so, and right now, today, I got the first delivery of the Gold Shell ST Box. Now, this right here is a mini ASIC miner. All it does is it mines cryptocurrency of Starcoin STC. So if you're not familiar with that one, it's because it's brand new. This is actually the first ASIC miner that is dedicated to STC mining. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick setup, how much it mines, how efficient it is, all about everything you need to know if you wanna get one of these and also where do you get them. This one came from the first batch that was available about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and I think I was the first customer to actually place an order as my order number was like 4,001 or something like that. So now let's head over to the computer I'm gonna hook this thing up all I really want to mention before we go is that all it needs is a six pin connector right here just like graphics cards use actually graphics cards use eight pin connectors for the most part but the two of the pins detach and also a network cable gold shell makes it so easy to mine cryptocurrency let me show you how to do it and then I'll show you how much money it makes Okay, okay, let's get started with setting up this ST box. So first of all, I go to find.goldshell.com. Now this is where you can actually find and locate all the gold shell miners that you have. And as you can see, I have a couple, uh, four HS5 miners. And then here we are, my STC box. So let's go into here. Even though it said 37 minutes ago, I have not connected it because uh, I was on support with Gold Shell, actually. So here we are. First things first, let's change language to English. Next thing is let's unlock this box so we can make some changes. And the initial password is 123456789. Unlock it. All right, excellent. So here we are, STC box. And what we have to do first and foremost is set up our mining pool. So you do that by going to the miner section and look, it's already ha already has um, some sort of miner set up, but I don't want to use that one uh, at all. Let me just check if there's any other hash rate modes. Nope. And let's see if there's anything other than STC. Nope. All right, so where do we get the information for this? Well, you have to sign up on a pool, and I use dxpool.com. So let's go there, Dx, dxpool.com, perfect. It's gonna load up. If you don't have an account, set up an account with them. It's very easy. Then uh, we go into the pool, and this is going to be an STC. So I have no active miners right here. So let's get this all set up. And if you click on the statistics tab, it will show you what you have to use here. So I am going to copy that. Now I don't know how this affects it, how many uh, people are on it. So I'm just gonna pick this one right here. And then let's go back to our STC box. Let's remove this one and let's add Oh, look, it already has DX pool. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now put in your username. And if you click dot and you write, you know, box zero one, this will be like the unique identifier of that box. I actually have three uh, STC boxes, but only one arrived today. So, um, so I'm going to call this one box zero one, just in case I get into the double digits of ownership. And now put in your password. And apply. At this point in time, this takes a little bit, but this should turn green. So we got to just give it a second. Here it is. It's green. So that means that it's connected with this login 
and the password uh, to this pool right here. And there's really nothing else to change here. So what I'm gonna do is just double check, is there anything in the system settings that I wanna do? Well, I do set up my own unique IP address right now. I'm just gonna leave this. Um, you can change the password here. So I'll do that a little later as well. And I'm not gonna change any firmware because uh, I, I, like I don't like to change if it works. I've already had one issue with that. So here we are, going back into home, it's showing me that it's mining at around 9,293 and there's one CPU in there. Perfect. So what do we do next? We go and we go back into the DX pool and we check, is there a miner? And here it is. It's already been recognized, which is really fast. Usually this takes about four or five minutes. So that's excellent. But look, it has not registered the real time hash rate just yet. So here we are. I'm just going to refresh and uh, let's see how long it takes. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a two hour timer and we're going to see what exactly this thing is uh, is going to be at uh, in terms of our mining. So I'm going to pause this and then we'll be back. OK, now, while we're waiting for that two hours real quick, let me just show you uh, what you should do. Uh, first of all, download Telegram. This is what we're looking at right here and join this right here. Starcoin STC. This is where you're going to find out a lot of information about the Starcoin system and the miner and where you can mine and everything else, including where you can buy it, like right here. Just happens to be someone posted a link second batch of STC box miners will be available um, come in just a few days actually on the 10th and it's the 7th right now of September 2021 so this is exactly what I paid for it um, I paid by cryptocurrency I think it was tether uh, USDT I don't remember exactly um, but uh, it's really it's really a good system you know to uh, but they make a very efficient way of ordering. So I got it on the first batch of miners. So let's look up when I ordered it and how long it took while we're waiting for this two hours to go by. Okay, as you can tell, 11 days ago on August 27th in the morning at 9.36 a.m. Eastern Time, I ordered three box miners right here. This is what I paid for it. And uh, we'll see how long it takes to pay back. But here's what's interesting. I got my order here and then I made my crypto payment and my crypto payment was coming from DX pool and I wasn't able to make a full payment. So actually what happened was my order got canceled. See, here you go. They canceled my order, but it wasn't truly canceled. As you can tell, my order was DX4401. Now my buddy was actually DX4400, which I do think was the first order that they had on this. I might be wrong, but either way, let's see what happened next. And here you go. Yesterday, I got a notification that my order is on its way. And this was my first email confirmation, but actually I did get a text message from DHL that it is on its way and it arrived two days early. It was supposed to come on Thursday, the 9th, and it came today. So I was pleasantly surprised. However, I only received one of my miners. It looks like customs put two of the miners on hold and then uh, released one. And then another one got, and then another one got released today and got sent over to the Tampa distribution center. Uh, and then I don't know about the third one. It's still not processed. So I'm expecting to get all of them by the end of the week. Okay, we are back after two hours of running this machine so we can calculate approximately what we would get after uh, a full day. Now, first thing I just want to say that I notice is that we have an extremely high rejection rate, 6.5%. All my other miners are less than 1%, mostly in less than half a percent. Let's just refresh that real quick. And, you know, this is a little concerning, so I might change pools. Now let's look at our average, 14.09. Uh, everything is looking good here. Temperature is 55 degrees. That's good. Um, and here's what the chart looks like. So here it is. I'm not sure where we started recording. Somewhere here. Now let's take a look at our uh, DX pool. What is going on with our actual mining uh, results? So on DX pool, hover over here. Go to STC. And here is our real time. Here's our average for the last hour. Uh, and well, let's take a look really one active miner profits hmm, no 
I'm not sure what's going on here, but we basically profited this many STC coins. It's not too good. So this times, and they're right around 16 cents each right now. And then let's multiply that by 12 and about $4.28 per day. Now I am actually gonna do major tracking of this on a spreadsheet on a daily basis. So you'll see those updates on how much this one is making, uh, but it's a very low power consumption. I'm not taking any calculations into consideration when it comes to the electricity costs, but it's way less than $4 a day. So um, let's see how this kind of pans out and how this works. But in a nutshell, if it's 4.28 per day, and I bought this for uh, 6.99, 4.28, let's divide it out. It's 163 days. That's a really good payback on a miner, assuming the coin does not change price and assuming the hash rate difficulty does not change at all. I know both of those things will change. So, you know, this is the best we can do right now. 163 days, which basically is right around uh, under half a year. So I'm pretty happy with that because it's like one of the best miners out there at the moment. And uh, we'll see how this progresses because I will be tracking and creating uh, more videos about it. So please subscribe if you're interested in seeing the results of all my different miners. I am going to be creating uh, regular videos showing what exactly is going on with the profitability of these miners uh, to see if it's worthwhile getting into them. Well, that is everything on the computer side that I wanted to show you. Well, thank you so much for sticking around and having the first look at the ST Box Miner by Goldshell. If you have any questions whatsoever about mining crypto or about these box miners, please leave a comment below. I'll be glad to research any answer that you are looking for. And I'm also going to have a video about Goldshell's technical support. Very surprising information if you are concerned about buying from a Chinese manufacturer, but that's the only place they make these things it is China. So don't worry about that. The support is great and I'll be making a separate video about that. Now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.